channel this is Anna Chisongokolo and you're welcome in eternal voice Anna thank you very much for coming back and for those of you that are already subscribers thank you very much and thank you very much for 100 subscribers and I believe that we are going somewhere please 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 and for those who are coming in please subscribe to the channel because in this channel we talk about everything about God we answer difficult questions we study the Bible and we do a lot of things that will help us to grow spiritually as Christians so today I have a topic to bring to you and I believe that this topic will touch as many lives and will bless as many Many because many people are getting this confused and uh, this topic is about uh, discernment spirit how to have how to understand this word discernment spirit how can you as a Christian or as someone who believes in Christ how can you obtain that how can you obtain that and before that how are you doing hope you are doing wherever you are in you know, I mean uh, in the whole world in Africa in uh, America everywhere you are in the world I pray that God will continue to sustain you and guide you. So, see you soon. Stay tuned. Welcome back again. Today, as I said from the beginning, we are going to study a word called, we call, discernment spirit how can you obtain that spirit how, how can you discover how can you escape many a lot of a lot of things that looks good but fake and a lot of things that breed greeters but not gold how can you try spirits and listen there are a few steps i'm going to give you but before that we are going to read the scriptures i have here with my i have my bible I have my Bible with me, and uh, in with the Bible, we are going to study and know what the scripture is telling us about this chapter 12, verse 10. Uh, chapter 12, verse 10 says, To another, the working of miracles, to another, prophecies, to another, discernment of spirits. To another, the diverse kinds of tongues, and to another, the interpretation of tongues. Now listen, these are the gifts that God has given to us, Christians. This is what God has given to us. In the house of God, you find ministers like these people that prophesy. If you want a message that will explain more what is prophecy and how to prophesy, then you have to uh, comment on the on the, on the com uh, com I mean, comment section and tell me what you think about that but now listen we are going to talk about discernment the spirit to another the working of miracles to another prophecies to another discernment of spirits now listen this are there are people who have gift to design uh, whether this is right or whether this is not right you understand whether this is okay whether this is not okay at all you listen but you as a christian having the spirit of god inside of you you should be able to understand when a trial is coming up to you and when this is a temptation understand the trials and temptations are not the same thing listen trials and temptations are not the same thing i believe that one day will bring it to us here to understand it more but we are talking about discernment of spirits you have to understand what god wants you to understand in every situation you are going through so listen discernment spirit is this is, is the gift of the holy spirit of god when you want to have that discernment spirit it's nothing else it's no one else but the spirit of god because we are living in a world full of confusion full of opinions of people full of this mind kind understanding but listen there is a difference between you reading the scripture and understanding the what god wants you to take from that book of the law you understand so listen discernment spirit is the gift of the holy spirit of god inside of you because so many of us are in danger of this we are so confused we don't know when the spirit of god is speaking through someone or when the enemy of life is speaking through somebody you, you, do you get some do, are you getting what i'm saying now we don't know it's like it's like the truth the word of god is not like the truth is the truth 
is the fundamental truth no matter the translations and everything is a fundamental truth and it's only by the spirit of god inside of you that you can tell this is the word of god and you can say this is not the word of god even though it seems like it is real you understand so now in many people are making a lot of choice because we all are following the physical aspect of a person we are following physical aspect of a situation with how it will suit us how it will be a benefit to us and we are not looking inside spiritual to analyze and to see what god is about to show us because the important thing you have to understand in life is that it's not about what happened it's not about what you are seeing now but what is important in a situation that you're going through is what did you learn what do you think that god is is telling you it, it, it wants to tell you based on that situation you went through. You understand? So, discernment spirit helps you also that as a Christian, when you go through torment, when you go through troubled mind, you will say to yourself, that my Savior, my Redeemer, live it. No matter how whole things become, you are, you are, you are, you are, you are confident inside of you to know that nothing, because understand that the fake prophets are benefit, are, are, are are gaining mostly when people are confused and this is the reason why i brought this message to you about the simon spirit the fake prophet the fake people the fake pastors the fake christian the fake friends the fake and fake people benefit and they gain a lot of your mind of your thinking when you are confused when you look at yourself and think that you are alone no one is alone even married even single you are not alone because there is an altar there is this spirit of god that is living inside of you that will help you not to fall in trap of the enemy so many of us are going through a lot even in their dreams instead of them to analyze instead of them to understand what god is showing them in their dream they will just say ah it's just a dream no my brother my sister no 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 you have to understand that and understand that as you are a person of god Many people will come on your way to distract you. Many will, will stand as if they love you. Many will stand as if they are with you. But when trouble comes, they will run away so fast. You understand? So you, got, you need the Spirit of God to design. Understand? The Spirit of God is not only for the pastors. The Spirit of God is not only for the, the believers. I mean, the Spirit of God is for you, a child of God. You that believe in Christ Jesus. You need it. It's, you need it. So you understand? Now, as the Bible tells us in the, in the house of God, because so many people now, even those who have ministry, instead of them working in the house of God, they will go out there and open up churches, churches, church, opening church. How can everyone is opening church? I don't understand. Pastors, I mean, prophets are opening church. You understand for you to have a church or something like that, you have to be a pastor because a pastor is meant to be sitting and to pastor the, the, the sheep of God. Why in the house of God, you can find evangelists, you can find prophets, you can find teachers, you can find every, every one in the house of God in a church. While everyone now will want to have his own building, putting people together there. An apostle builds church. I mean, builds church. He is the founder of church. He goes many places to plant the house of God. Why pastors sit and and nurture the, the 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 people of God, build them up in the in the word of God. Hallelujah. So now listen. Discernment spirit. For you not to fall in the trap of the enemy, you need discernment spirit. You understand? For you not to be a victim of the enemy, you need what? You need the spirit of God inside of you. In this time of pandemic, in this time that we are all staying at home, what do you think that God is telling you? What do you think that God wants you to understand in this situation we are now? We're just saying, oh, we don't know, we don't know. It is time for you to go in your closet and sit down, think, and pray, and pray for as many that you can intercede for people. It's not a time for us to be crying. You can see that money is, is nothing before what we are, people are seeing now. Money is nothing. Things, wealth, and all of is nothing. Even government, they have put in a lot of millions and billions of dollars in this moment 
but nothing is going. So our only hope is Christ, is the greatest hope. If you are hoping on a man or a president or a governor or a minister or a senator or a mayor or whosoever to help you, you are making a big mistake. Or even if you are waiting for your pastor to help you, you are making a big mistake because we have the great helper, which is the Holy Spirit of God. Hallelujah. Now listen. And now when we continue, you see that how to test the spirit according to the Bible, you need to test every spirit. Now listen, if you think that devil doesn't go to church, you are making a big mistake. You see, the devil goes in the presence of God. What he does is to accuse the people of God. It's to accuse us before God. It's our enemy and it's not the enemy of God. You understand? So how can you test different spirit to know which one is which one? Because many of us, we find ourselves in a church that is not a church. We find ourselves in a place that is called church, but it's not church. We find ourselves with a friend that is not friend, and we call them friends. You understand? We make wrong choices because we are so confused. How can you judge various, I mean, various spiritual agents? Discernment is like you judging. How can you judge if not by the word of God? How can you judge if not by the fundamental truth in you? How can you judge situation if you don't, you are not, you are not, uh, 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 you are not rooted in the word of God? You see, so this is what I want you to understand. And lastly, understand there are steps of discernment to follow. First of all, you have to identify the issue. What is that issue? What is that thing that is troubling you? Is it spiritual? Is it physical? Is it that friend? Is that what? You are not sure of that. Listen, identify, identify the issue. Take time to pray over it. Many of us, we don't pray at all. In a situation, we just jump in and say, oh, God knows everything. No, you have to pray over whatever, every of your step, commit it in the hands of God. Pray over the choice you are making. You need God to make a right choice. Many are regretting because of one choice or another thing they have done to themselves. Listen, making a wholehearted decision, you need to pray over it and the Spirit of God will speak to you. Discussing the choice with a mentor. When I talk about mentor, you can be a spiritual father, a teacher, it can be someone that you know that the Spirit of God is with. Someone that when he speaks the word of God, he's speaking the word of, he's speaking the truth and not something like the truth. You understand? So you have to speak with many of us youth, old men, husbands and wives. Listen, many of us are no more seeking counsels. We are not seeking counsel. To, to, from the men of God, we see them as uh, they are human beings like us. We see them like, oh, they don't won't understand. Uh, this, 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 everyone has their problem. You are making a big mistake. You are making a big mistake. Be careful. Seek the counsel of a man of God, and he will help you and direct you. He will only counsel you based on the word of God. And if he doesn't do that, then you have to seek elsewhere. Listen, and then finally, trust in the decision you make. When you go through this test, then you can finally say that, yes, I believe that I have done, I have made a good decision. So thank you very much for listening to this. Designing is very good to overcome the test of time. Designing spirit is very necessary for a Christian to live here on earth. Thank you very much for listening. If you, are, if you have watched till here, thank you very much. Please, before you leave, share this message to one another. There are people that want to hear this kind of teaching. And if you like it, please, you have to you click the like button. And if you want and you want to join the family, subscribe. And may the Lord bless you. Thank you very much. And may God bless you all. Bye.